today's video i'm gonna go ahead and showcase the best flame medium build inside of the game um i was actually gonna make a video on this a lot earlier but i actually didn't get the time to do that but here it is also i want to go ahead and say to the people that joined my discord server i'm um, looking for their build i actually do not show the stats of the build when i make a video on it unless it's a few days after or a few days before i actually post a video on the showcase so if you want to like an early access type of thing just make sure you join the discord server and on to the pre-shrine um these are the stats you should have when you're making this build um it doesn't really matter which order you upgrade your build from um but i recommend upgrading it from charisma uh so you could get the talents for days and finisher a lot easier which is annoying to get later on but before you actually get to level 15 right before you get to the level you need to be before you shrine I would recommend you doing all of the quests for extra talent hands, which I'm gonna go ahead and link a video of inside of the description. So y'all make sure y'all check that out. But this is the build before shrine, and I'm gonna go ahead and shrine. Shrine order. All right. Um, from here you wanna go ahead and get 25 um, agility, which is you know, blade dancer, all the good talents. And I did go 30 42, so I could have. Um, uh, loser mine. I went 40 for unwavering resolve and show sniper, but I did go 34 after trying. I went extra 40 again, so I could get loser mine, which is really good. And your build should look somewhat like this. Okay, so a lot of you are probably wondering how did I equip champion sword if I only have 39 medium, but uh, for the ones who don't know, I'm actually con which. The race passive allows you to equip weapons with like three less stats. You could have three less stats of that weapon requirement. You can still equip it. I went con specifically so I could do that for this build. But for the ones who don't got con or already have a con slot that's in use, I got y'all with another build. Don't worry, I got y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and put it up on the screen right here. I got y'all. I'm not gonna let y'all just hang like that. But you won't be able to get um share misery i believe but you don't really need that at all mira this build originally was supposed to be a no life king build that's the whole reason i even went that it's not really needed but i recommend getting piercing well for the talents i recommend you getting before shrine i'm gonna go ahead and put it up on the side of the screen over here these are the talents i recommend you getting before shrine is really 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 good these are the stats not the stats but these are the this is a summary uh, for the talents if you want to see them go ahead and slow down the video but i'm gonna just speed through these right quick For the mantras and the modifications and gems that I have on them. Also, one thing I forgot to mention before I show footage of just PvP. I recommend you getting um Heritage Sutra before you shrine an order. Um make sure you go in depths to get that. Go in later to get that. So you could easily proc loser mind like on command. And I also recommend getting Manic so you could proc it a lot faster.
bet, 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 bet. We can't. We can glitch in. We can glitch in. We can glitch in. Wait, glitch in. yo, bet, yo, bet, 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 bet. You don't know the method. You don't know the method, do you? Yeah, look oh, sideways. Look sideways. No, I got. Oh, fours. Be careful. Oh, I just stop. Yeah, wait. I know how to do it. I know how to do it. Good <laughs> 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 <laughs>